Morning beautiful souls, Tim Wilde here and uh, it's Saturday morning and I know I don't usually put anything out on the weekends but I said yesterday in my Ascension update that if I see, hear or sense of anything which is kind of adding to what we've got going on at the moment then I'll, I'll be kind of updating as I'm going along. So here goes and um, this, this isn't the usual kind of thing that I post and um, I'm, I'm fairly sure that the kind of the more warrior types amongst you will be very pleased to hear what I've uh, what I've picked up and perceived. Now shortly after I did the video yesterday and um, I've, I forgot to say happy new moon to everybody because with everything that's going on at the moment the, the, the whole kind of the, the moons are passing me by a little bit but what I didn't realise was just how significant yesterday's moon actually was and it was the the actual the event the the new moon in Libra was part of an operation from the light now I know there's quite a lot of stories out there about the kind of the, the battle of between light and dark and, and light prevailing and everything. But I genuinely saw something yesterday, which I think, um, which is definitely worth noting. Now, when I first perceived the opening of a fairly significant stargate in 2014, it was when the Lyran stargate opened and allowed Archangel Crystal's energy to come through and connect with us in our reality. This was in this was in the equinox, the spring equinox in 2014. And some of you might have heard the story, especially on Diana's Unicorn documentary of the unicorns spiralling out of the Stargate along with Crystal's energy. And we, we spoke about him in the Archangel Guide to Ascension in that particular event. Now after that happened, after that stargate connected with our planet, there was a significant um, occurrence in the astral planes in our reality. And I noted that there was a huge increase in low frequency vibrations actually around us in our everyday world. And the information that I was given by Archangel Metatron was that the quantity of light that we had received in a short space of time had literally collapsed a layer of the astral plane and the, uh, the the souls that were kind of living or existing there in whatever frequency and time they inhabit had nowhere to go so we had to clear up. Now yesterday something um, quite amazing happened. I was kind of oh, gradually over the course of the day shown pictures of what looked to be like, it was like something out of a 1980s movie, it was a little bit like an Arnold Schwarzenegger scene where he's kind of like tearing through the, the, the baddies and there's fire and explosions everywhere. I was very clearly shown um, a significant part of the astral plane being basically nothing short of invaded by, by, by the light forces and most of them looked like they were quite familiar to me. They looked like they were they were kind of legions of Anubis and dragons. And over the course of the day, this operation, this 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 occurrence, kind of increased in intensity until the full moon. Uh, the sorry, the full moon, the new moon peaked last night at UK time. And afterwards, I was just shown this kind of silence in in this particular part of the astral plane and was told that the clear out had been completed. Now Arch um, Archangel Michael was involved, Commander Ashtar was also involved and his light ships. Now if some of you wanted to know why there was a light ship that came through each of the portals that we opened during during the, the previous workshop, now we know. And these these particular light ships, Commander Ashtar's light ships, were specifically targeting these these um, these area these lower forces lower forced areas in the astral planes. This all might sound like it all might sound like fantasy or science fiction, but these things kept on coming to me over the course of the day, and I'm very rarely shown something clearly unless it's of significance. And the significance of what occurred yesterday was was actually ties in very much with the reality that we are seri seeing and experiencing at the moment because we are all watching this this kind of rollout of the the you know the the pandemic the lockdown and and everybody you know who's who's on the correct page is beginning to question the government's and the narrative and everything like that 
the people that are trying to control this planet are are basically having their their puppet strings pulled by a group of etheric uh, a group of souls in the astral yesterday that plane was shut down and it was cleared out okay this is the message i'm receiving so this is actually fairly significant news i'm happy about it anyway you know and the end result won't be an instant kind of an instant kind of finishing of all of the things that we're experiencing in our reality at the moment they are still going to come they are still going to play out and the way i was shown was that say for the sake of example you have a wasp's nest a particularly active wasp nest in your garden the wasps will kind of do their the, the, they will go about their activities during the course of the summer then at some point in the early fall or when the mornings start to get colder the queen will leave the nest and when the queen leaves the nest the the workers are left to their own devices and basically that is when they start to kind of go and cause a bit of trouble they go into pub beer gardens and and drink your cider and start fights and and all that kind of thing they they've got no they've got no kind of um they've got no directives they are literally just surviving now so this is what is occur this is what we're going to see occurring now i believe is the fact that the this particular layer of the astral plane and it was a significant one that it's been very much a part of the last 10,000 years in the, the the control and and the rolling out of the 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 souls that were in charge at the fall fall of Atlantis the legs have literally been taken out from underneath the table now so what we're going to see is these these kind of the the control or the the cord between them and and the 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 people in positions of power here is now being cut and they're going to be rudderless and slowly but surely that 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 feed of lower frequency energy into their consciousness is going to it's going to be shut down so first of all they're going to be acting a little bit like the undirected wasps they're going to their their, their behavior is going to become exacerbated this is how i've been shown it so what I'd like to say is you can either take or leave this information this morning. It might sound completely fantastical to you or it might actually resonate on a very deep level because we all know what's going on energetically on this planet. What I would say the best thing to do would be is to violet flame up because a lot of a, a lot of uh, density has been released very quickly now what i'll do is i'll post um i've i've got three invocations to the violet flame one that diana cooper bought through and two that i bought through they're available on my website i'll put the links in in the video use them and the what what i tend to do when stuff like this is occurring is call in a in a global downpour pouring of the violet flame so do it for yourself and do it for everybody else as well call in the violet flame ask that it be that, that it be brought into this planet for seven days and that a continuous downpouring occurs and that should sort out any of the kind of um the energies that are going to be released that are very intense that might put the more you know the more empathic of us under pressure because we're going to feel it we're going to feel this density in our immediate surroundings or funny enough more uh, like me you might be feeling a, a a slight sense of peace and a little just maybe just a tiny bit of smug satisfaction this morning but that's by the by so that's my update for now if there's any more that's coming through i'll, I'll let you i'll let you all know sending you all lots of love bye bye for now